Welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town. Wake up, best. Time to... What? Meet Huang. Where did you get that apple? I was born with it. Were you just carrying around that apple? <laughs> That's actually his hand. Genetic defect. <laughs> oh, good old Huang apple hands, they call him. Huang lives with Zach. Zach lives out on the beach. And I sometimes forget that, but I remembered it for this Let's Play. Uh, Wong is far less of a racist caricature than he was originally, so... A little better. He's still kind of a piece of shit, because he's a bit of a fraudster, but his actual shop is fine. He actually sells some rare crops, and I don't know if I'm going to buy them in this part, but pretty early on, I, I do want to go to him because he sells cabbage, which is a really nice, expensive crop. And uh, in summer, he sells pineapples, which take a long time to grow, but are worth a crap ton. Yeah, you can sell them all to the pizza place. Eh. So, it's almost amazing that by making it so that there's a chance that an item will drop when you use the sickle, they made the sickle of all things fun to use. Here we can see it. There's a lot of crap on the field that you can't deal with until you upgrade your tools. The axe is probably the hardest to upgrade just because there's so few things you can use it on. To like, <laughs> level up already. All right. I love how sudden that is. <laughs> Ta -da! Also, you didn't level up in your sickle skills. It got no. better from being used. Yeah. Which... Not typically how tools work, but... Here we see, down in the bottom right corner, there's just a patch of fodder grass. The grass is actually really nice in this game, because you just plop down a patch of it, leave it there, and it will grow and expand, and eventually cover the entire farm. So, like, you only need to buy one, and then you're mostly set. Oh, that is sick! Only real life were like that. Or it didn't just die immediately. Yeah. And sort of like in semi-later Bokujo Monogatari's, there are two different types of building material. You don't use it yourself. You need it for gods to upgrade your farm, but there is lumber, which you get from twigs and stumps, and there's material stone, which you get from rocks. Now, if there is one criticism of the redesigns I sort of agree with, they did take away a lot of identifying elements of characters. He's like, Grey here was known for his cap. In this, they took that away, and now he's just a generic pretty boy. But he's also kind of a sad boy, so at least he has that. But Grandpa, what the hell is wrong with it? The handle's on backwards, you dumb bastard! <laughs> This is my son, idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> you put the blade on the top of the sickle. I don't even know how that works. The blade's supposed to go sideways, you idiot. That's what makes it a sickle and not just a long knife. Wait, I forgot he's my grandson. He's as much of an idiot as his dad. Yeah, welcome to the trades, kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a leftover from the guild system, is what that is, boy. But don't worry, man. You'll get through this, and someday you'll be in charge giving shit to another youngster. For no reason. Maintain the cycle of abuse. That's the sort of thing you say when you have some respect for your trade, so maybe you're not so bad, Gray. I don't know what a flange is. I only know what a fillet is from, you know, fish. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a fillet. It's a square cornered step. 
So as you can see from the heart next to his name, Gray is a potential marriage candidate. Every one of those has two different Gray heart events, and then the purple, etc. Every one of those heart events, you have a choice between two different things to say to them. Depending on which one you choose, that'll increase their heart and friendship rating with them. I obviously chose the wrong one there with Gray, but I'm not dating him, and I don't particularly care about him, so I don't care. Wait, why the hell not? He's got a steady job, a useful skill? Yeah, like, he's not a bad character, but I'm I'm going for a different character. Yeah, no, he's, he's boring. He's not interesting at all. He's just such a regular guy. So this is how the upgrade system works. You use the tool and that increases experience with it, but then you need to go into the mines and get a certain type of ore. Bring that to Saibara here. Mithril and Mythic. Depending on how much you want to level it, it's going to take a few days. You can upgrade it step by step, or you can just use the item until you level it up all the way to max, and then like get the best ore. And Saibara can't upgrade it straight to gold or mithril to have you. It will just take more days. But um, that actually saves money, because if you upgrade it step by step, that's like a thousand gold, then two thousand for each step. So if you take your time, you can save some money. Sasha has it much better in this than she did in 64. In 64, she was married to Gotts, and it was implied it was an abusive relationship. In this, she is married to the general store owner, and he is a pushover. Oh. But is Gotts a good guy in this, or...? Yeah, Gotts has his own problems, but he's not an abuser, at least. Does he drink? Uh, he might. It's not his character trait, though. Oh, right. He doesn't he doesn't have alcoholic as a character trait. Yeah. <laughs> didn't didn't roll that one on character creation. Oh jeez. Uh potpourri. There must always be a potpourri in Harvest Moon. There is always it's always the same potpourri actually. Yeah. yeah she's eternal. Yeah, she's just she's weird. Yeah, the, this is one of the weird things about mixing up these characters' relationships. Potpourri was named Potpourri because she worked with plants. In this one, no, she she runs the chicken store. Right. Feeds the chickens Potpourri. <laughs> you know how chickens like perfume. Of course. Fine nutritionless flower petals. Her mom Lily is a sweetheart, though. Lilia has anime sickness, which means she's weak and she can't leave the house, and that's all we know. It's very Victorian. Victorians had anime sickness? Yep. They invented it. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Victorians invented anime? Yes. And sickness. I'm learning so much. It would be many years until anyone got down with it. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it was one of those things where it was just an accepted fact of life, and then people, you know, in the modern day decided to make a big thing out of it and put robots in it. Are we talking about sickness or anime? I think I switched over to talking about colonialism, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jeezy Pete. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about. Rick, out of nowhere, just fucking hates Kai. And if you talk to him, he just starts shit-talking Kai. What the fuck is his problem with Kai? When we meet Kai, oh. there's an ugly implication. Like, I think Rick is just overprotective of Potpourri because Potpourri likes Kai. <laughs> no, nobody date my little sister. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> but then you meet Kai and you think, uh, there might be another thing going on here. Uh, puppy! <gasps> puppy. Oh, hi, little guy. You're a cheerful pup. Yeah. Boof. Boof. Oh, boof. I'm better than you. You live in a town, sweetie. 
You know, she does live on a farm underneath the town. What? <laughs> yeah, the subterranean farm. Oh, I see. <laughs> South of the town, then. Fine. She's like, I'm a Minecraft! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you can grow crops with lamps? You mean to say lamps, little girl? I'm a dumbo! <laughs> <gasps> Cop, I beg your pardon? Uh, uh huh, okay. This is a new addition. Huh? There are regular cows and there are flavored cows. I fucking knew it! <laughs> They're really expensive. They're semi-useless, too, because the milk they produce is only for selling. You can't use them in recipes or anything. You can only use regular cow milk for that. Strawberry milk comes from strawberry cows. I fucking knew it. You can also make your own strawberry milk, so, like, it's really weird. But this you could just squish out of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> I presume the noise it makes. I'm a city boy. Okay, brown chicken, does that does that drop chocolate eggs? No, so like they didn't even keep it consistent. What the fuck? Well it's a brown chicken, not a chocolate chicken. Oh not a chocolate chicken, of course. Look at that rabbit though. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the animals are kind of expensive. I'm not gonna be able to buy any till later in the season. But when I do, I'm going to fill up the entire coop and barn with as many as I can buy. Yes, do it. Chickens and rabbits eat the same thing. Yeah, which is not true in real life. No. Because they're like, no, they don't. But at least the game doesn't care, so I don't. But this is really nice. So as you can see in the inventory, you can only hold stacks of nine of each item, and then it needs to take another slot. But if you run out of space at a shop, they will ship it directly to your farm. Oh, that kicks ass. I don't know why they don't do that immediately. I mean, it's really weird to fill up my backpack with eight different stacks of nine chicken feed. But then they're like, okay, I'll just put it in a silo. You mean you could have just done that? Why am I schlepping this home? <laughs> I think it's because you can take the stack out of the silo and then feed the animals yeah. directly. And that increases their friendship a little faster than if you just put it in the feeding troughs. Of course. But it, it is still a little like there's a there's a little gap in the logic, which is hard to ignore. In. Occasionally closed during business hours. What for? Yeah, it's just sometimes the characters will leave. And maybe they like have lunch breaks or have you. I wish I could be occasionally closed during business hours sometimes. So this is Ron. The localization in this game is very good. You'll notice like there's pretty much no typos, no weird translations or anything. It's it all looks very good. There were some original names which seem strange because uh, in uh, <laughs> yeah, I love the cat. <laughs> um, in '64 and Back to Nature, her name was Anne. I think in the original Japanese, and here, her name is Ron. Ron is not a name that I'm at all familiar with, so it's a little strange. Beat the heck out of the GB version where there were a couple text boxes that just weren't translated. <laughs> yeah, I think Carter spoke in German at one point. <laughs> oh, uh, I see we have found Palm's worst enemy. Mana... Her joke is, she talks a lot, and she talks very slow. It's a funny joke the first time. I can see we're gonna be good friends. At least she's not an asshole. She's, uh, she, she's the vineyard lady, I think, by the, by the grapes. Yep, she runs a vineyard with her husband, Duke. I think she might uh, have been sampling the vintage a little bit. Gotta make sure it's good. And make sure the first one wasn't a false positive. And make sure the second one wasn't a false positive. <laughs> Why, thank you for grapes. 
something that I so desperately needed in my life, working in a vineyard. <laughs> oh, and she hates Duke, too. She shit talks her husband any chance she gets. Ah, oh, so she's a boomer. She's definitely a wine mom. She is indeed a mom. I will, part of the problem with their relationship is their daughter, Adge. Like A-D-G-E. Again, kind of a weird name. Their daughter left the town out of nowhere, and they still haven't moved on from it. Oh. Ah, oh, hello. It's my waifu. Ah, oh, yes. Everyone, everyone loves the library slash church girl. Including my patrons, because they voted for me to marry Mary. Ah, good. Look, it's even in her name. Bunch of nerd lovers, huh? I married Marie in, uh, when I played. Back in the day. You should, like, not be a dumbass. Oh, she's writing a novel. You guys sure know how to pick him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, I don't hate your wife. It's fine. She's a lovely girl. I mean, unfortunately, she is probably the most boring character in the game. But still. She's cute. And they gave her a bit more of a sailor uniform for her look. They're all cute, though. They're all built in a lab to be cute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the cutest goddamn town. I really don't understand the sailor outfit. I think that's a little bit bizarre, but whatever. No, I said I wouldn't criticize. It's fine. It's fine. It's She's got her style. It is not design choice. She's, you know, she's got her style. She's living her life. She does have three different hairstyles at once as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, she's got the pony braid bob. Yeah. Pony bob braid. Braider, braider bobby tails. I think that's the guy who runs the feed store. <laughs> I think in Harvest Moon 64, actually looking at the bookshelves increased your friendship with her. I don't know if that's the case here. I'm doing it just in case. Oh, this owns though. Look at this. She's got growth cycles for all the crops. Yeah, this is actually pretty useful. Yeah. Oh, I thought that meant the cabbages were five dimensional. <laughs> yeah, the 5D cabbages. Yeah, they project themselves through time and um, the other thing. It, they, You can make a delicious Tesseract kimchi with them. Mmm, pan-dimensional sauerkraut. You! Oh, uh, it's Allie. I married her in Harvestman 64, and in my first playthrough of this game. Get a load of this! But look at it, it's really weird! Use a little shit. I'm gonna go find a weirder one, Ellie. Well, there's Jeff off to the left. He's just watching this. He's just like, damn, that was a weird bug. <laughs> like, fourth weirdest this week. Where's that kid keep finding weird bugs? It's amazing. It's only Tuesday. I own the farm, Ellie, but thanks. It's mine by right of conquest, I mean inheritance. I don't work on it, the nature sprites do. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm really what you might call more of a petty bourgeois. More of a uh, landlord. Hmm. Would you like to contribute to my farming Kickstarter? I sure hope they don't discover Maoism. <laughs> He's not a natural born prankster, he just likes weird bugs. And he thinks that you like him, too. All children should like weird bugs. Someday I'm going to find the weirdest bug in the world, and you're going to be really impressed by it, Ellie. It's going to have a human face, but like dog legs. <laughs> yeah. His name's going to be Gregor. <laughs> because he's more than Greg. He will have been, he will have been a man at one point. <laughs> and then metamorphosed. You suck. Stop being an ass, you. Stop it. 
Stop bothering people with your weird bugs. Weird bugs should be their own enjoyment. If you want to show off weird bugs, get an Instagram. The fuck? Hell out of here. Make a gimmick Twitter account. It's weird bug ebooks. Hold up a sec. Those are just crocodile tears. You want me to go beat him? <laughs> I've got a sickle. It's leveled up. Well, I mean, you need to work on your axe, though. I appreciate them trying to make her maid outfit, which she wore because she used to work at a bakery, actually look a little bit more like a nurse outfit because, like, they put crosses on it. Ah, I see. This man is extremely Jeff. <laughs> yeah. That's the Jeffest looking guy I've ever seen. Ah, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, Doctor. That's a shit thing to believe. Uh, None of that. Raiden, have you seen this weird bug? <laughs> so, like, in Magical Melody, they actually gave him the name of Alex, which is a perfectly fine name, but they decided to keep it so that he doesn't actually have a name. He's just Doctor. It's tradition. You know, when you enter the medical field, you give up your name and identity. That's right. I am one of millions. One of millions of doctors. Doctor's all right. He's handsome and all that, but... Like, he's one of the characters who, at the start, doesn't have much personality. You need to keep befriending him and talking to him for it to come out. Does he get a name? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak openly. It would violate my Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> He doesn't remember. The surgery was very thorough. <laughs> I... Honestly, I think Carter's kind of a weirdo. But at least he's nice to the kids. Is he... Is he telling you kids about sin? I'm going to choose to believe that McFarms a lot is your canon last name. Best McFarms a lot. You is just... is really respectful. Yeah, I mean, when he's not around weird bugs, at least. Carter, what the fuck? Are those Cool Ranch communion <laughs> wafers you're feeding the kids? <laughs> Can I have one? <laughs> it's, it's the zesty body of Christ. <laughs> There's Cliff. Ah, Cliff, the anime scowl with the messy hair. How's it going? That's a really nice fucking, I don't know, is that a poncho or is it a Baja sweater? What the fuck are you wearing? I think it's a poncho. Um, Dragon Quest called, they're missing a protagonist. Yeah, holy crap. Because he's kind of a vagabond. He's actually, you remember how like in Harvest Moon 64, you kind of needed to work to keep him and Karen around. Karen will actually stick around in this one, but you need to work to keep Cliff in the town. Otherwise he might leave. Just keep on vagabonding. <gasps> nope. Reset. Do the day again. Moon drops, I hate these. Oh, bumpkins. Bumpkin. Ah, that's the good shit, thanks. <laughs> Start snorting it. <laughs> I can sell this. Oh, Cherry, you little sweetie. <gasps> Did I know? Oh, yeah? Kappa's like cucumbers, huh? What? I... What? None of that is true. Yeah, I don't think I agree with that. These sprites are not okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Work is important, but so are tea parties. Yeah, it works fine, but it's like Ben Franklin said, you know, you work to tea party. You don't tea party to work. Actually, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Can you come back to me? <laughs> I confuse myself. This is Anna, she's Marie's mom. Couldn't have got her into team sports, huh, Anna? Nope. Come on, stop it. Stop criticizing her. So there's Anna, and there's Mana. And they're both friends, and they're together a lot. Ah. We call him the old Anna Mana Ding Dong. 
and I'm Anaguchi. <laughs> I like this. So Lily talked about how her husband left to find a cure for her illness. Huh. Anna explains the reason why he left. It's because she told him about the flower. So it's her fault. I don't think that there ever was a flower. <laughs> I think he was probably just tired of his wife with the Victorian anime sickness. And his extremely territorial daughter who won't let anyone upstairs. <laughs> At all. Anyone. There's not even any furniture up there. It just leads straight to the roof. It, it's just, it's, it's an empty attic, but nobody's allowed up there. Here are the guys. Hey, what's up? So this guy just moved into my house. Brought all these boxes. Stole my fruit to make a disc. What? What? What kind of Buddhist nonsense are you up to here? <laughs> so that's the thing I was talking about where I'm pretty much not going to be able to get all of them. There are different types of jewels where when you get all nine, I think, they actually become an equipable item. The truth jewel is semi-useless. I'm not even, I don't even remember what it's for. I'm not going to be getting all of them anyway. And the reason for that is you need to play like 30 in-game years to get one of them. <laughs> what? Yep. All it does is let Beth know she's in a video game. And then the game melts. Best becomes a bodhisattva. But there are other useful jewels, ones you can get in the mines that, when you're outside, slowly increase your fatigue or your stamina. So those are worth getting. Ah. Because this gets old. I mean, it made more sense when you had no meter that the animations let you know how you were doing. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Just... Just some wood, huh? Just just a log. Just, uh, thanks. I, I heard you cut it. Saying hi, you big old weirdo. I like that they made Gots and Harris much rounder. They look cuddlier. That's what happens when you work a physical job. With Hot Topic Boy back there. That is a new character. He's an artist. So Brandon and another character are two additional marriage candidates that were added for the remake. Both of them are pretty boring, so I ignore them. But he carves chickens. Carves the same chicken forever. And say, I also carve chickens into delicious bite-sized pieces. Mmm. That's my affinity gift. Roasted meats. You and Jerry, both. Hmm. There's the other new character. Jennifer. She's a new age hippie. She's definitely a hippie. Holy shit. She's slightly more interesting than Brandon. But unfortunately, the thing with... Like, it's not even that I disagree with these New Age hippie beliefs. It's that those characters are so tedious and boring, and Jennifer is no different. So, the toy flower they picked up, the slightly spindlier yellow one, those are a little more rare, but those are actually one of Ellie's very favorite gifts. So she's pretty easy to befriend with those. And that's how most days end in this Let's Play. I do most of what I want to do, then when the evening comes around, I sit in the hot spring until night comes. It's important to cleanse yourself daily. I'm guessing you can walk through crops in this game. Yes. Oh, oh sweet. The seeds do a not or a three by three. Oh, that's good news. And that means you don't need to put space between them. 
I'm so coddled these days, I swear. Like I said last time, kids these days, you're soft. You need to have a hole. You need to make it look like a fat C. That's it. That's that's exactly what it's called, the fat C. And if you wanted to use a sprinkler, it had to be a skinny C and you lost a spot. Yep, that's right, but it's more efficient in terms of time. All right, so... Gonna take a while for him to grow, but I'll get 18 cabbages, and they're worth a decent amount of money. Hell yeah. <laughs> byproducts? Yeah, just byproducts. <laughs> byproducts. You know, yeah, you have a cow, and it produces a bunch of byproducts. Yeah, I go to the grocery store and go to the refrigerated section to get all my byproducts. Yeah, I just get some byproducts. You know? I had, uh, I had some byproducts uh, sunny side up for breakfast today. <laughs> I got a bunch. I'm gonna make some cookies with byproducts in them. Oh yeah, you're gonna make some some byproduct cookies. Yeah, seems pretty good. That just makes me think of Dylan Morin talking about eggs, saying they're just farts covered in substance. <laughs> that's horseshit. <laughs> that's that's not a butt pearl. <laughs> it's it's not like a, you know you get a cloacal irritation and out pops an egg. That's a pre pre animal. That's a uh, it's a fucking that's an ovum. Dylan Moran? Somebody get him on the phone. I got, I got words for that guy. It's just a byproduct, man. It just, you know, it's just a byproduct. <laughs> There's some byproducts. Just have some roast byproduct for dinner. You know? I don't know why they call it byproduct, because, like, we're not making direct product. I'm not slaughtering them for beef. But, Thorne, the direct product is cuteness. I can't sell that, though. Because it's priceless. <laughs> can't put a price on cute. Uh, if you get any subscribers from this LP, then it's kind of like that. Hey, there you go. Donate to the Patreon. Buy some cuteness. Indeed. Did you guys see how round those cows are? They're so round. And they got a little bell on their tail. They go jingle jingle. You gotta buy the cuteness. If you don't donate, we're blurring out the penguin. <laughs> <laughs>